Hey there, good day, good people. Welcome to this episode of MCM TV. I'm your host, Leon Carpenter, and today we're coming from the Maidstone Theater in Ypsilanti, and I'm sitting here with the boys from Screw. Gentlemen, thanks for sitting with me. Thank hey, you for hey, having hey. us. All right, right on. Hey. So I like to get introductions out of the way so the folks at home know who we're dealing with and what uh, what role you play. So Nick Savage drums, vocals. Hot Rod guitar. Tommy T vocals. L Rod bass. All right, very good. So. <laughs> Where did the name Screw come from? Good question. We threw a lot of names around, and that one kept coming back at us. So we decided to go with Screw. It was we, just one in the mix. Yeah, yeah, I've been in a lot of clubs. And screw this, screw that. And then yeah. just, one day we just said, ah, oh, the hell with it. Just go Get with screw. screwed, all yeah, that just, sort of thing. Right on. All right. So uh, what type of music do you guys play? What genre would you consider your music? Hmm. Rock. In the punk vein. Yeah. Rock yeah. in the punk yeah. vein. Yeah. High energy. That. High energy yeah. rock. I would agree with that, for sure. And so since you do have a little bit of a, a punk-flavored rock background, what are some of your influences? Maybe growing up or even recently? Oh, God, I can remember yeah, back to, like, the late 70s, early 80s, you know, punk insurgents. I mean, going back as far as... Uh, Gen X, Generation X, Boy, I was right. first band, you know, all the stuff that came out of the, out of England during that movement, UK subs, everything right up through, you know, latter days, Ramones, and... Black Flag, Circle Black Flag, Jerks. Yeah. Right now? Johnny yeah. Thunders. Even goth Sex stuff. Sex Pistols. Yeah, goth stuff, such as Mercy. Iggy Pop and the Stooges. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, of course, yeah, Iggy. MC5. MC5. Yeah. You know, wow. speak of Detroit, you know, yeah. Detroit influences, MC5, along with the Stooges. For sure. Cool. Right on. All right, well, why don't we uh, take our first break right up front so people can get an example of uh, what they're going to hear. Um, what do you think we should show for our first MCM Minute? Any particular track you guys want to? Thrill Wait Killer. Down. Thrill Killer. Is there a story behind it? Mm, want to set it up anyway? Just about a serial killer. Right on. All right. Well, here's Thrill Killer. We'll see you back in 60 From seconds. the minds of a serial killer. <laughs> right on. <laughs> we'll see you in 60. I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> you enjoyed that example um i want to i want to rewind a little bit and, and ask you guys how did you all meet did you guys all have some history i mean we're going to talk about other bands and stuff that you've been in in the past but how did you four come together to join and, and create this band called screw well he and i initially got together first um we both found ourselves without a project we had just walked away from projects that we had previously mm -hmm. for some time and i got a call from him one day you know he pitched me this idea for a band that would go back to or try to go back to early punk roots in terms of sound and, and energy level right and on. asked if I was, you know, if I was interested in doing something like that. And uh, of course I said sure and took off from there. Right, how'd you find the other two guys? Troy, Troy and I have been in, this is our third band uh, that we've been in together. Right so. On. So some good history there. He and I had been speaking as well as with uh, Nikki, and uh, it all just kind of came together at once. And then Hot Rod came on board, and pretty much we knew that within the first 20 minutes of rehearsal, that's right that's the lineup. So yeah. we, And this all just kind of happened last year, right? Like correct. In 2013? Yeah. yeah, late summer, actually. Wow, really? So we've only been uh, together for about a year. Right. right. Wow. All right, so then let's, let's, let's talk about some of those past projects then. What other bands have you guys been in before Screw? Select Four. We were in a band called Select Four. Um, 
Down with Hatred. Down with Hatred was after Select Four. Was, uh, we uh, did a lot of charity music for uh, violence against women and shelters. Right and we did a lot of good things with that band. And it was punk rock music, but it was with a good message. That's very cool. What yes. else? Hot Rod. Oh, I mean, I was in a couple minor bands, but the, the, the one of the more bigger ones was a band called The Nobodies. And I lived out in Denver for 15 years. Oh, right on. And uh, I went out there for business and then kind of met these guys. It's kind of the same thing. You know, they need a guitar player. And I was with them off and on for 15 years. We got signed by Hopeless Records out of California mm -hmm. and uh, put out some CDs and did a lot of, had a lot of fun. And uh, then I had to come back here. <laughs> <laughs> you say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> but, but no, it's turning good. It's turning That's good. good. Yeah. I think good. you guys got a good He came going. back to the best band he's ever been in. That's right. <laughs> there we go. Well, so I wanted, we'll put it like that. I, I wanted to come back and spread some more rock and roll back in Detroit, where, where it came from, where it belongs. That's right. And I always thought about that. So when it kind of happened that I ended up here, I was um, playing with my brother in another band and stuff like that, trying to put something together. That I like, I wanted to do, you know, mm -hmm. what I was born and raised <coughs> on was the music on, on the radio. And then when I met these guys, it was like we all had the same vision, really. That's cool. So, any others? Um, yeah, well, I'm a child of the early Detroit early punk scene. I mean, I can, I can date back to bands like the Cookies, the Inn, uh, the Sillies. Um, I've had a very long stint as a drummer with the Cult Heroes, okay, cool, uh, with the Bailey's band. And, uh, oh, yeah, so many. I mean, everything from that to, like, just your basic hard rock metal stuff. I was one of the founding members of uh, both Fair Game and uh, Collateral Damage, which later became known as Codam. Right on. So. Right on. Very good. So you guys, you've got a CD out now. Is it indie or you're on a label? It's independent. Right on. You feel that's the way to go these days? Pretty much. A lot of bands Pretty are saying much. that's the way to go. Man. Pretty much. Have you guys, you know, joined any organizations or anything yet? Like BMI or ASCAP or any of that kind of stuff? Yeah, or BMI. BMI. Very good. Right BMI, on. absolutely. And of course, your Motor City Musicians. I was going to say, 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 yeah. Motor City I like to yeah. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. the newest right. members. That's right. right. You are the newest members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right. watching that. They are the newest members. And we're members. proud of it. Thank you. Right <laughs> That's Glad awesome. to be here. <laughs> All right, so um, I want to ask a couple more questions before we get to the next break, but uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about your instruments. Um, what is it that you like to play? Um, currently, I'm playing a D-drum. D-drum, okay. all maple set. Uh, I've played everything, Gresh, Ludwig, but I'm really digging these, the new right kid on. here. And um, have got my hands wrapped around bass guitar, rhythm guitar, even been a front man on occasion for some projects, but... It's always been drums. Drums is yeah, it. Yeah, drums has always been here. Right on. And Hot Rod, I saw you play and uh, you were rocking the SG. Is that yeah. your only axe or do you have others? Um, I was getting into collecting a lot of different models of Gibsons, and then I just realized that's what I want to play. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just SGs, so I got a few of those now. Right on. But so that's uh, your fave? Yep, yep, that red one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shit. Yeah. And then Marshall, you know. Yeah. Listen to Marshall. What better combo do you want, you know? So It doesn't get any more rock and roll than that. Uh, just like this guy. And not a lot of pedals, folks. Yeah, keep with it the, clean. Yeah. With the Fender. Fender and Ampeg for That's me. That's right. That's it. it. That's Fender right. Precision or Fender Jazz. I got both. I use them both. I recorded that CD with my Precision. Yeah. And I just recently purchased Jazz. That's just killer. I love it. Right on. Yeah. So are there any endorsements involved yet? I mean, I know you guys have only been together for a year, but is, uh, is anybody throwing any equipment at you? Mm. Not yet. Not us yet. No. We're waiting. And, uh, we they think throw, about they've thrown other stuff at us, but well, not, <laughs> not endorsements yet. <laughs> we're looking for that gig. I thought we are playing with the idea of approaching uh, people that make hams beer, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be the official beer. Yeah, it's been, it's been the official yeah. beer screw here lately. <laughs> Drink hams and get screwed. Yeah, yeah. We'll there you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we think they can use the, you know. Hey, we like use the, yeah. Use the exposure, so, hey, we're we will use it. It'll just cost you a quarter every time it gets yeah. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take another MCM minute here. What, uh, what are we going to hear now this time? We're going to hear uh, back, in back in the game. game. Back in the game. All right. We'll be back in the game in another 60 seconds. We'll see you then. Different sign you wanna be around. Prepare yourself to play. 
right, welcome back. Um, <coughs> let's let's talk a little bit about you know the shows that you guys have played uh-huh. in the past year. I, I would assume it took a little while for you guys to put some songs together, get out, and start playing. Think back to the first show. How long did it take for you guys to get out on the stage for the first time? Some of the very first. Show. Wow. Was it like a month or two? Yeah. Probably wow. maybe Quickly. maybe six weeks. Yeah, yeah. We, Where was we that? actually went in and recorded a four song EP right. prior to ever playing a show. Wow! So we had worked on these songs for a few, you know, a few weeks. Went in and recorded, and then you know had our T shirts and that the whole nine before we even hit and ever did a live show. So where was that first live show? Um, place here at Ipsy called the Tap Room. Right on. Uh, regular hangout for us and. Uh, uh, owned by musicians, um, a really great uh, blues guitarist. Cool. And um, shout out to the Tap Room. Oh yeah, shout out to Tap Man. You guys Yo. rock. Our first show. Yeah, mm-hmm. Brian and Lisa. Thank you much, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Right. And uh, they were gracious enough to give us uh, their 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 back room, as we call it, the side room, uh, to uh, host our CD release, first ever CD release party. Your first show was a CD release party? Yes. Yeah. Dude, that is fantastic. <laughs> wow. Well, it was an EP release Well, you know, yeah. 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 That's, that's pretty cool. So how did the show go? It oh, went great. great. It went great. It went great. You have a decent room? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. cool, yep. man. It was cool. Right on. So where else have you played since then? Mm, we played the Machine Shop on our third show with Sponge. Nice. nice. Um, Come on, I'm drawing Smalls, blanks here. Smalls. Smalls, Smalls a, a few couple, times. A yep. couple of locations. Um, uh, That's where our latest CD release. The Token Lots. The Token, token right. Lounge. Yeah. John, Johnny, big Love shout John out. Big yeah. shout out to John. And you're my bro, you know. Yeah. And we played here at the Maidstone. Yes, we did. Yeah, yes, right we on, did yeah. for a benefit for Stacy cool Burke. Place. Yep. Cancel uh, the benefit show. Great cool. vibe here. Great mm-hmm. sound. These guys... Uh, they're, they're really doing it. They're serious. And this place is impressive. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. So I'm going to elaborate a little bit more, not just here within Screw, but even with past projects. Where are some of the you know more memorable places that you've ever played? St. Andrews. Oh, great venue. Yes. Oh, yeah, of course, always St. Andy's. Um, um, I don't know if it's still open, but uh, Clutch Cargo's moved up to Pontiac in the yeah, church. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, a nice Clutch Cargo's. The yeah. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You played the Rock and Roll Hall Yes, I did. That was right impressive. Who was the that fight, with? Uh, with 60 Second Crush, my former band. Well, you didn't mention that in the previous segment. You there. You've been in a few more, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, uh, well, I could think that. You, I was, he's, had, I, he's holding out on well, us here. Well, Troy wasn't right? in that band, so that's why I didn't bring uh, it up. So you were just talking about the ones you guys I did a, 50, a 15 year uh, run with that band, was a founding right member of that band, and had a, we traveled Germany t- uh, twice, Amsterdam, played all over right the on. States. Had a good time. Cool, cool. So you guys are, you know, you've already been there, so you'll be able to take these guys along. You know what you're doing once you get up and start touring, right? Mm, I don't know about that, but yeah, they probably take me along with them. There you go. Uh, he's very modest, folks. He's very modest until he gets on stage with a microphone in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, if, you're just, yeah. <laughs> if you're asking just memorable clubs, yeah, 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 not necessarily in the realm of this band, wherever. I got to go back to like again early punk days, like Bookie's Club, eight seventy. Which mm-hmm. of course is no longer exists, and uh, Todd's used to be over on the east side, of Detroit. Um, another great premier alternative and punk club mm-hmm. um, in its day. Um, of course, you're going back away. Yeah, yeah, it would sadden me. It saddens me because clubs like that aren't just a far and few and in between these days. So, do you guys have your sights set? I mean, is there any venues either local or abroad somewhere that uh, you guys are aiming for? There's got to be some place that you want to play, you know, like well, maybe we like to, you want. We, we'd like to get back to St. Andrews Hall. And we yeah, actually right may yeah. we may actually do that on uh, December 21st. Cool. Um, that's in the works right now. So but it's uh, not for a Christmas yet. show, right. right on. That'd be cool. And then you play know, in the hall. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Fillmore would be great. I'd yeah. like to go do that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Taking it one yeah, day at a time. We're ready for anything. Yeah. To right some on. people, it may seem like we're moving fast, but I mean, it, yeah. it, it's kind of somewhat been calculated yeah. what we've done uh, to this point. Mm-hmm. You know, it is what it is. There's a million bands in Detroit, there's a million great bands in Detroit, mm-hmm. and uh, we think Screw is one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would agree. You wouldn't be sitting here otherwise. Thank you. Thank Make you, sure sir. you get out to one of their shows for sure. Mm-hmm. All right, so when you guys get out and you play your live shows, your original band, did you play any covers? Sure do. Sure do. Yes. What do you like to play as a cover? 
Social Distortion, nice. Low Feelings, we do a song by them. Do a little Ramones once in a while. Johnny Thunders. Iggy Pop. Mm-hmm. So you guys mix it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys sure. in the mood for tonight? Hey, let's do a little Iggy tonight. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 I dig that. That's actually, cool. actually, actually we played Iggy last no, night. We we had play, it hadn't been our set in a while, and we played uh, mm-hmm. No Fun. Cool. Had a great time. That was our closing song. So. Right on. All right, yeah, so when fun. we talk about your original stuff, who writes it? How does that happen? They do. No, we all write it. We, <laughs> we all, all write it. It's collective. It's collective. So the process is a collective process. Yes. Right? So what happens? You guys are at practice and somebody throws out a riff or something and you just run with it? Yeah, it's Bill, correct. Bill come up with the riff. Tom, Tom Rod's got a library. Riff and introduce it to the rest of them. He'll come up with the riff and introduce it. And then we all take it and work it until we've got something everybody's satisfied with. And, and then this wild man. Man here will come along and take it home and digest it for a couple of days and come up with lyrical content. Some crazy lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> I, it usually starts usually starts instrumental. Correct. Oh, yeah. You get the vibe down. Yeah. Oh, I don't go home and write. No, those days color. are way over. I used to do that. Yeah. Uh, but to get that to fit with what you're actually playing, mm-hmm. to me it was just too much of a headache. So I, I just turned it around, the process around. And yeah. it helped. I mean, probably a lot of bands do that. I, I really don't know. Uh, but it, it's always worked for me. Right on. And when you got a riff factory... Correct. It's just kind of. Well, correct. I have an eight track digital recorder, little studio in my yep. in my house uh, with a drum machine, right and on. so I just turn it on, put the headphones on. It's all quiet; no one can hear nothing, and I'm just in that zone in that little mm-hmm. world, and I just play around with something. So when I do get it, I can record relatively what, where I'm at. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then I I can just uh, digitally send it right to these guys and go, "Do you like this tune?" And then they're like, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Right. <laughs> well, what about this one? Uh, maybe. Like, yeah. Rod, Rod has a good yeah, talent and a good ear. Yeah. Uh, and then the band comes together and they piece it together and basically make a song out of it. That's cool. I'm sure that's how a gazillion other bands yeah. do it. Well, a perfect example is like Thrill Killer, where when I wrote it, it was a lot faster because I usually kind of write faster. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like Sean bring it down and made it more dirty or like, you more know, so that's yeah. a perfect More example. sleazy. Yeah, I made it more sleazy, I guess, sleaze factor to it. That's cool. You said you send it digitally maybe ahead of time. I would assume you also introduce a few of them at rehearsals themselves. So let me ask, what are rehearsals like when you guys get together? Is it just madness? Or business. You guys like, is yeah. it is all business? It's, it's business. Yeah, it depends on what the agenda of that day or week is, if we're... If we're, you know, tightening up certain things in preparation for a show or, or if it's more lax, we just want to work on some new, right, you know, some new song ideas. It, it varies. Right on. We've always been busy working on music. So, I mean, like the release and then the other release that we just did. So we've always been kind of it's focused around those songs and tightening them up and getting them ready. Now, now, now that we've released it, you know, it's probably going to go back to... Madness. <laughs> see, you know, see, see, what he does is is he sets up the uh, CD release party before the darn thing's even done. <laughs> so he's got the date set. He's, he's holding your future. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. All right, well, we work well under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take our last MCM minute here. This is going to be the third example. Um, what do you guys want to show this time? Bottom theater. Yeah. Bottom, bottom, bottom. theater. Is there a story behind it? Want to set it up at all? It's uh, about addiction. About addiction, right on. Well, here's bottom feeder. You want to elaborate? It's about addiction. Is that people that? Uh, that the song title says it all. Bottom feeder. Right. Feeder. right on. Okay. <laughs> you know, feed from the bottom. Here's yeah. bottom feeder. We'll see you in 60 seconds.
welcome back. Hope you enjoyed Bottom Feeder. Um, you guys have only been together for a year, so this this question might not necessarily pertain to you, but has there been an evolution of the music from when you guys got together and put that first EP together to what you've just recently released? Has it evolved? If you speak to Andy, ask Andy Padlin that question, he would give you a definitive yes. Okay. Um, so one of the first thing comments he made, actually, I think, when we... Um, probably the second day or so we were working on it. He was like, you guys were like, really found your voice now. It's like, right he said, not that the, the first EP is not good. I think it's great, but what, what you're, we're doing now, I think you guys actually, you know, you found your voice. And you did that within a year. Yeah. Correct. Which He's our recording engineer yeah. slash producer. Yes. Right on. Mm -hmm. So big props out to Andy. Andy yeah, yes. You rock, man. Yes. Right on. So um, you guys are... I shouldn't use the term, but you're still kind of technically newlyweds in a sense. It's only a year old, yep. right? Yeah. yeah, very much so. Have there been some challenges? You guys just trying to, I mean, there's some history here. You guys have been together for a while, some of you, but there has to have been some, some hurdles to climb. Oh, as a unit? Year. Yeah, we're still yeah. learning each other and getting used to each other. You mean like you don't like to walk in the snow or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> 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 I'll go both ways, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there a story behind that? Yeah. 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 Let's leave that alone. <laughs> That's yellow but, snow. Uh, <laughs> with, with people, you're going to have these events, you know. Yeah. 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 But that just because we've all done it for so many years, yeah. you know, we've all been yeah. in bands, especially yeah. long term. You so know, it's easy for you guys to keep it professional then. In oh, sense. yeah. Oh, right. well, we know. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so we know. At, at this stage of the game, we're all, you know, we've all been around, we've all done what we've done, and as cheese ball as it sounds, you know, I personally prefer, you know, keep it kind of more like family, keep it loose. You got something to say to somebody, say it, get it over with, be right done on. with it. But, you know, I, I must say it, it, that doesn't happen a lot. We get along pretty good. That's so. cool. We're against drama. Right. Yeah. We hate it. Or anti-drama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, even though you kind of but we will punk throw, genre, right? we, we, throw, just, we will throw some shit at a wall, though. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, if you got to get it out that way, you get it out that way. <laughs> yeah. This might be a tough one to answer right now, but... What are what are the goals for this band? What's your ultimate goal? Where do you guys mm -hmm. want to be? What what what's the plan? Sell some rats, sell some music, make I mean, some money to yeah, do it uh, full time. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hoping yeah. for Kiss yeah. <laughs> if they're still around. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a legitimate goal. Uh, uh, like you said, just uh, here comes the voice of reason. No, we just wanna we just wanna see. I mean, we're not looking for you know mega stardom success or anything we just want to you know like i said move some move some uh product mm -hmm. you know play in front of some people you know build a following and be a great band yeah be a great band and support that's, that, that's basically and what give, i want out know, of this yeah just give back to the right on to the scene man well in order for that to happen the fans have to be able to gain access so mm -hmm. how do the fans gain access to what you guys have going on Easiest way is by going to www.facebook.com forward slash screwheads forever. And that is screwheads, S K R E W, heads with a Z, numeral four ever. You really got to look us up. <laughs> you do. And you guys will get a lower third. They'll be able to find you. Yeah, we're we're going to close with that. Yeah, because we have two pages. We have a, what we call a band page and a fan page. Right on. Um, fan page is basically Get Screwed, which is easy enough to find on Facebook search. Um, the band page, however, is a little trickier, so I gave the, the precise URL. Right on. But, uh, and we'll put that up on the screen here as we close as well. Um, CD is a physical CD right now. Do you guys have it up on CD Baby or iTunes or anything like that yet? Working on it. Cool. So that's, it. that's coming soon? Yes. Right on. So for right now, it's the Facebook page, which is all good. Um, okay, how about some acknowledgments? Is there anybody you want to thank or uh, throw a shout out to? Oh, sure. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, My brother, Big Al. I'll start with mm -hmm. that and we'll work down here because now you got some people. Your buddy, Jeff. Yeah, our fans, um, friends, Jeff always supports us. Um, that's pretty much it. Our families. Yeah, right on. Yeah, friends, families. Uh, of course, our illustrious producer yes. Andy Padlin yes. without him uh, Sam awesome. wouldn't be here to the Maidstone Theater for yeah, allowing us in here and today the yes. right on. and uh, of course our number one screw fan Glow who wanted to be here but couldn't today um, yeah. shout out to Glow and uh, shout out to my son Little T 
it's his birthday today. Happy birthday. Hey, happy all birthday. Right. All right. Yeah, all, all the screw heads, as we like. How old all today? All the screwligans. The I'm screwligans, I like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, right on. Well, this birthday's been captured on tape. Oh, he's 17. Right on. Happy 17th, little T. <laughs> all right. Um, any... Last words you guys want to share? Anything we didn't talk about you want to throw out there? Come see us. If you haven't seen us yet, come see a screw show. We think you'll like it. Yeah. High I energy. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I think you'll dig the sound. Right on. Yeah, come get screwed. Right. Yeah, I like yeah. that idea. Get some. All right, I think that's just about going to do it for this episode of MCM TV. I'd like to thank Screw for sitting down and uh, We'd like to thank you. We'd You're like to thank you. Yeah, very, yeah, very thanks much. for having us. I'd like to thank the boys here from the Maidstone for uh, allowing us to, yeah, to yes. shoot this here today. Thank you guys, Rob. Yeah, if you guys haven't come to a show here at the Maidstone Theater here in Ypsilanti, please do. The stage is huge. The room is awesome. I think you'll really enjoy a show here. So if you want to learn a little bit more about Screw, you can check them out on their Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash Screwheads Forever with a K and a Z. Correct. And you'll see it down at the bottom of your screen. If you'd like to a little bit more about me, you can visit my fan page. Just go to facebook.com slash Leon Carpenter fans. And as always, please visit motorcitymusicians.com. You'll be able to see other videos such as this one here. There's a button that will take you to our Facebook page and our YouTube page where you'll see the extended version of this video as well as videos of other bands. There's forums and calendar of events and all kinds of stuff on there. So please check it out. So until next time, for MCM TV, I'm Leon Carpenter. Keep the music alive. She looked at me